Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be going over how to add and subtract fractions. So we're going to start with number one, three over four plus two over five. The goal is to get the same denominator. So we need to think about the least common denominator between four and five or the least common multiple. If we multiply four and five, we can get 20. And this ends up being the least common denominator. We have to think about how do we get from four to 20? Four times five is 20, so we need to do the same to the number on top. Three times five is gonna be 15. And three over four becomes 15 over 20. How do we get from five to 20 times four? And what we do to the bottom, we also need to do to the top. Two times four is eight. And two over five becomes eight over 20. Now that we have the same denominator, we can add the two numerators together. 15 plus eight will be 23 over 20. And we can change this improper fraction to a mixed number. 23 goes into 21 time and there will be a remainder of three over 20. For number two, we have five over eight minus one over seven. The least common denominator here is gonna come when we multiply eight and seven, which will be 56. To get from eight to 56, we need to do times seven. And what we do to the bottom, we also do to the top. 5 times 7 is 35. How do we get from 7 to 56? It's going to be times 8. And what we do to the bottom, we also do to the top. 1 times 8 is 8. Now that we have the same denominator, we can subtract the numerators. 35 minus 8 is going to be 27 over 56. And 27 goes into 56 two times, so this will simplify to one over two. Number three, we have 13 over seven plus three over two. The least common denominator here is gonna come from when we multiply the two denominators. Seven times two is 14. This is gonna be the new denominator. 7 times 2 is 14. And what we do to the bottom, we also need to do to the top. 13 times 2 is going to be 26. How do we get from 2 to 14? This will be times 7. And what we do to the bottom, we also do to the top. 3 times 7 is 21. Now that we have the same denominator, we can add the numerators. 26 plus 21 is going to be 47 over 14. 14 goes into 47 three times with a remainder of five out of 14. Number four, we have one over seven plus three over two. We're gonna have the same least common denominator of 14 here, which is just seven times two. To get from seven to 14, we're multiplying by two. And what we do to the bottom, we also do to the top. This numerator is gonna be two. To get from two to 14 is times seven. So we need to do three times seven, which will be 21. Two plus 21 will be 23 over 14. 23 goes into 14 one time and there will be a remainder of 9 out of 14. For number 5, we have 1 plus 3 over 7. Whenever we have a whole number, we can write the denominator and multiply this number by the denominator to get the numerator. So since this number is one, 
we're going to multiply it by 7 to get 7 as our new numerator plus 3 over 7. 7 plus 3 is 10 over 7. And this is going to be 1 and 3 over 7. Number six in our last question is five over four plus one over two. For this question, the least common denominator is going to be four. For the first fraction, we do not have to change a thing. So it will be five over four. For the second equation, to get from two to four, we have to multiply by two. And what we do to the bottom, we also do to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. Now that we have the same denominator, we can add the numerator. 5 plus 2 is 7 over 4. 4 goes into 7 one time. And there will be a remainder of 3 out of 7.